So um, thank you so much for telling us about your self-assessment. I did enjoy that. I love how you took that initiative. You created that spreadsheet. You looked at your own skill set to see where you were and then created a plan on how you were going, you know, whatever certification you were going to take or what books you were going to read in order to get to the next level. So that that is that is an excellent thing. I think that's something that um, all of us as, as business analysts need to do, um, especially if you're reaching for that senior level. You need to know what you're good at. You need to know where your sweet spot is. You need to know where your weaknesses are. You need to be able to be comfortable to say to somebody, look, if you need this, 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 and this, I'm your girl. But if you need this, you need to call somebody else. <laughs> and you, you're so right because we did the uh, like behavior assessments and personality assessments at work. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm very intuitive. So I'm like, you know, I don't really need to take this, but I'll take it. And I don't really need to see their results because I can already see what they're good at and what they're weak at. Like, mm -hmm. but the team dynamics, mm -hmm. it's just like, this person has a strength. Let's utilize them in that. This right. is somebody else's weakness. Like, you can make an excellent team if you just, like, if people self-assess and know their strengths and their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And just, like you said, just admit to it. Either... Right. It's a weakness, then it's going to stay a weakness, or it's a weakness, and you want to grow it to be, um, you know, stronger. Right. So, right. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're right about that that teamwork thing. It's it's really not a thing where we have to um, be, uh, as we say, we, we don't need the crab syndrome. There, there's just right. too much work to go around for the crab syndrome to 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 need to be a real thing. Um, you know, I can be great at, 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 you know, A, B, and C, and you're great at D, E, and F, and you put us together, and we're going to change the whole world, you know, <laughs> because right. I got this, and you got that, and, and we're good, you know. Um, that is teamwork. That is mm -hmm. teamwork. There, there is no um, shame in saying that um, this is my weakness over here, and, you know, I just don't have the, um, sometimes it's the aptitude, sometimes it's the patience, sometimes it's the personality level. I'm just never going to be as good at that, you know, at that as Bob or Sally Mae. It's, it's right. okay to, it's okay to say that um, because you're going to, you know, run Bob and Sally Mae down the street and around the barn in some other areas. And that's okay too, you know. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I, and I think that, um, as we mature, we all need to get better at knowing, um, what we're good at, what we can be good at. I like how you said that, what we can get be better at, at. <laughs> and some things that we're just never going to be, just never going to be good at. So that's yeah. good. And I was, um, I had a trainer one time and she, she made a comment. She said, um, the first six months you get on a job, you should try to learn that job. The next six months, you need to try to get better at your job. That next year, by year two, you should feel like you're eligible for a promotion. Like that's, that's how you gauge yourself. Mm -hmm. So I've always taken that into consideration, especially when starting a new job. I need six months. I'm going to give myself six months because we can be hard on ourselves sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, so I always allow that first six months to learn those skills and adjust to that domain knowledge. And after that, it's okay, now I need to get better at this. I have to refine myself. Right. And next that uh, next year, it's like, okay, I should have this down packed, mastering a new skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and, and I agree with you that first six months is important. It's not just the, the job, but it's also learning the people. You know, yeah. the, the people is a huge part of um, being in a new place, learning the people, um, letting them learn you, you know, letting them understand what, what you bring to the table and then you understanding what they bring to the table. And sometimes it's a bit of, you may not have the leadership title, but you may have to do some leadership stuff. 
because you may be the one that's left to say, okay, you're good at this, you're good at this, you're good at this. Let everybody, let's take our areas, right? And then right. pull everything together. Sometimes there is no one to, to do that per se, or if there is, they may not be so great at it. And so it may be left up to the business analyst to, to, to make those things come together.